I know sepsis is one of those words that people don't, most people at home don't know about. So um, maybe, Dr. Tari, maybe take us through it, you know, every single information you have about the definition of sepsis. Well, sepsis, um, as much as it's a very common medical term, yes. um, to the layperson, sepsis is basically a blood infection. Okay. In our setup, a lot of people know it as blood poisoning. Mm -hmm. um, we get patients who come from the hospitals or go to the hospitals and may not understand when somebody tells them your infection is complicated and now your whole bloodstream is infected and your organs are infected and they don't want to um, you know, try and understand what that means. So in short, we try and tell them that basically you have a blood infection or a blood poisoning. Okay. So um, sepsis is a complication, the most fatal complication mm -hmm. of any infection that somebody okay. can get. And very many people die every day at home. Very many people die in our hospitals mm -hmm. with this complication. complication. Yes. Well, um, there's general signs and symptoms for, okay. uh, for adults, and then there are also specific symptoms to categories of patients, women, children, um, old people. Okay. So w when we look at the general population, mm -hmm. many people think that when you have fever and chills and you've been having this fever and chills for a few days and you're just taking Panadol and you're okay, mm -hmm. um, you may be having sepsis. So when somebody comes to the hospital, we must check their temperature. We mm -hmm. have to check, do you have cold hands? Do you have dehydration? Does your skin look different? Mm -hmm. Are you confused? Are you disoriented? At the same time, are you having any obvious other symptoms? Are you having diarrhea continuously for a few days? Mm -hmm. Have you been vomiting everything you take? Mm -hmm. You know, have you been having severe muscle cramps? Have you been having pain all over the body? Um, we ask all these questions to be able to pick up. Is it just a symptomatic uh, fever? Is it uh, specific to a particular organ in your body? Or this could be sepsis. Okay. Yeah. So, so both we lost our mother okay, to sorry sepsis okay. in July 2013. Okay. And that was the first time I heard of the word sepsis. Mm -hmm. And I rem remember googling it mm -hmm. while she was in ICU. Okay. And I remember it saying that it's very dangerous. Chances of survival once you're in septic shock is very low. But I didn't really accept it. I mm -hmm. thought, no, it's not really happening to her. And it did. Yeah. And I didn't know. And okay. I was at home with her while she worsened. Mm -hmm. And uh, she just had fever. She was uncomfortable. Um, I think one of the main things I see today looking back, which was very different to how I saw her every day, mm -hmm. was she looked a bit confused, okay. a bit disoriented. Mm -hmm. um, she felt like she's not well. She, she felt herself not too well. Mm -hmm. When your water breaks, mm -hmm. um, suppose you already were on treatment or you had symptoms of a urine infection or foul smelling vaginal discharge and you had a vaginal infection, mm -hmm. you're at risk of the baby getting sepsis if there's prolonged delay. Now prolonged delay in this case is not 30 minutes or an hour. Mm -hmm. Some patients in remote areas and not Nairobi specifically can't access care for even 24 hours. Mm -hmm. They would probably have had the water breaking and they're in labor, they're laboring, but uh, they're not in any health facility. So when this baby is born, the baby could pick up an infection yeah. and the baby is at risk, is not necessarily going to have sepsis, but is at risk and would require to be in a health facility for an assessment and if need be for admission, for monitoring or for treatment. Uh, anybody who has access to internet, you can get more information for yourselves and your mm -hmm. family and loved ones on the internet. You can always reach out to us as well. We want more people to come join hands with us to actually help spread the word. Okay.